Welcome to our channel. Millie Bobby Brown addresses comments about her accent changing. I'm trying my best. Social media was in a flurry after the actress made an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and seemingly fluctuated between an American and British accent. Millie Bobby Brown is not here for the comments about how her accent has changed as she has spent more time in America. The Stranger Things star sat down for an interview with internet personality Max Belayed and discussed the social media conversations surrounding the actress seemingly losing her British accent as she mostly lives in the United States now. I'm an actor, Brown said. I grew up in the public eye. I grew up in America. I come to set, and I'm an actor and I adapt, and so I want to mimic other people. She explained the voices of the people she's around, like her fiancé Jake Bon Jovi, John Bon Jovi's son, can and do impact how she speaks. But she pointed out that when she's in England, her natural accent comes out more. Allowing Brown's appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon earlier this month, social media users began pointing out that throughout the conversation, it sounded like the damsel star was losing her British accent. Her British accent is barely there anymore. A user commented on a TikTok video at the time, while another one noted, she pronounces certain words like a Brit, but the cadence she's using is so American. On the other hand, some users came to her defense, with one writing, people who have accents are often told to pronounce as much as possible to make it so other can understand them better. I don't think she is losing her accent, I think it's just for the interview. Millie Bobby Brown has been facing fierce backlash online, with many calling her a Zionist and asking people to boycott her new movie. On October 7, the Palestinian militant group Hamas attacked southern Israel, killing more than 1,200 people and taking another 250 as hostages. Israel declared war on Hamas, firing airstrikes into the neighboring Gaza Strip, where the group is based. Supplies of food, energy, fuel, and medicine into the area were suspended before a ground offensive was launched in late October. As of February 19, over 29,000 people in Gaza have been killed, the Associated Press reports, with a further 68,000 injured, according to the Gaza Health Ministry. Since Hamas launched the shock attack on Israel in October, Several celebrities have faced backlash for speaking out about the conflict or for remaining tight-lipped. Brown, the Stranger Things actor, who stars in the Netflix movie Damsel, is yet to share a statement on the issue, which has left a lot of people unhappy. Many have taken her silence to mean she supports the atrocities that have unfolded in Gaza. When a new trailer for the film, premiering on the streaming platform on March 8, was posted by a variety of X accounts, formerly Twitter, people took to the comments to criticize Bobby Brown, accusing her of being a Zionist. A Zionist is someone supporting, belonging to, or relating to a political movement that had as its original aim the creation of a country for Jewish people, and that now supports the state of Israel, per the Cambridge Dictionary. People have taken to X to share their frustration with the actor, Newsweek contacted Bobby Brown's representatives via email Tuesday for comment. Isn't it ironic when psycho pro-genocide actors play roles like rebels and heroes? These people rear the script and understand nothing. What a waste of talent and a waste of story on this Zionist, a third person wrote. This post references the fact that Bobby Brown is friends with fellow Stranger Things actor Noah Schnapp. He has made headlines repeatedly in recent months for his remarks on the israel Hamas war, leading to cancellation calls and fans threatening to boycott the upcoming fifth season of the sci-fi show. However, other people online have defended Bobby Brown. You do realize nobody is obligated to participate in a boycott if they don't want to. I've bought a Starbucks sometime within the past few months because I was thirsty and wanted one. Does that make me a Zionist? Nope, one person posted. 